Hello kids, welcome you all back. Today we're going to perform an experiment one step ahead of the Archimedes principle, buoyancy and all other stuff. We all know that if we drop a pin in a bowl of water it will sink. Now in this experiment we're going to see how to float a pin in a bowl of water. Is this really possible? In this video, after floating the pin, we will understand how does the pin floats and what is the science behind it. Enjoy the experiment kids. So here is a pin and bowl of water and I've dropped it and the pin sank. It's quite normal. Now I'm going to take out the pin and try and float it on the surface of water. Let's see how. Now I have a fork and kept the pin at the edge of the fork and trying to float it now. Just slowly touch the surface of water and slide the pin. Oops, it drops and then it sank down. Let me try it out once again. Well, what you see over here is the pen floating on the surface of the water. Amazed, right? Have a look, it's floating. Now I'll try to show in other angles so that you can feel and really check whether it's floating or not. Now I'm shaking the surface of the water so that the pen floats and moves away. You can see uh, it's floating on the surface of water and the bottom is clear of the pen. That's amazing! How does the pen float? You can very well see that the pen is clear of the bottom surface. It's floating. Well, now I'm trying to disturb the surface of water so that you can see the movement of the pen which is floating. As the surface is disturbed, the pen floats and moves on the surface. Now again I'm going to try and float it in front of you and show you how to float it. So let's watch how to do it. So you just have to keep the pin at the edge of the fork or some fine uh, object like a knife or something but be careful not to pierce your hand. So just slowly slide and then as the distance between the water surface and fork reduces drop it. That's it. It floats. Amazing right? A pin floats on top of the water. So see that it moves away as it floats. As I disturb the surface it also shakes indicating and proving it is floating on the surface of water. Now I'm going to try and sink it down. I'm trying to press it. Alright. Now I sank it. So once again I'll show you how to float it. The pen is mounted on the fork and then I'm going to drop it take it close to the surface of water and then drop it. You can see the pen slides with the surface of the fork and then as I remove the fork the pen starts to float. That's it. So kids, a pen need not sink always in a bowl of water. You can 
probably make it to float by the way what I showed over here. So kids, it's time to understand why the pen floats on the surface of water. You have to understand one important property which is called as surface tension. Let's understand in simple terms what is surface tension and how it helps the pen to float. So assume that 10 or 15 people hold their hands together as shown in the figure and they are holding so tight that they don't let anybody in. However, assume that an angry bull runs and then with sheer force it fights you all away. So, similarly a pin dropped with greater force, let's say from a height or you throw it, then it breaks the surface of water. When you put it or land it slowly, it doesn't break the surface of water the molecules that is the two hydrogen and oxygen atoms hold together in tension. So that's all about surface tension. Hope you kids have understood the concept of surface tension and you from now on always remember that you can float a pen on a bowl of water. Thank you for watching this video. For more such experimental science videos, watch my channel. Thank you.